welcome to UGC Net Online Pre Coaching. Uh, today I will discuss fourth part of uh, uh, June 2007 series. Uh, today I will discuss fourth part means uh, question number 31. The parsing technique that avoids the backtracking is uh, top down parsing or predict, uh, recursive descent parsing or predict, uh, predictive and syntax try. These are four options. Parsing technique that avoids a backtracking technique. This one, uh, same question I repeated uh, in. Uh, uh, do, uh, it's asked the same question in uh, uh, I think uh, 2005 uh, here I'll explain one second because very important question this one uh, most of the time um, in uh, finite automata most of the time uh, here only in June 2007 only two questions based on this one so please careful uh, about uh, this concept the top-down parsing can be viewed as an attempt to find the leftmost derivation usually topmost parsing will use for leftmost derivation bottom of parsing will use for rightmost derivation actually okay like leftmost derivation for an input string it can be viewed as an attempt to con uh, contra construct a parse tree in pre-order means what top-down parsing leftmost derivation it construct a p um, pre-order parse tree please remember these three points okay a general form of to uh, top down parse uh, parsing is called recursive descent parsing general form of top down parsing is recursive descent parsing recursive descent parsing used for leftmost derivation for pre order manner okay so a left recursive grammar can cause a top down parser parser to go into an infinite loop therefore to use the top down parsing we must eliminate all the left recursion from the grammar that is our main objective okay but the grammar associated with it cannot avoid a backtracking a form of recursive descent parsing that does not require any backtracking is known as predictive parsing that's why to avoid a backtracking you will use for recursive descent parsing okay this parsing technique is regarded recursive as it uses context free grammar which is recursive in nature so the parsing technique that avoids a backtracking is recursive descent parsing please remember this one is very very important uh, repeatedly asked the same uh, for uh, this property only they will it may be question may be uh, con uh, changes but uh, main properties of uh, uh, all these you keep in your mind so next uh, same thing it out a top-down parse generates definitely just now I explained leftmost derivations similarly this same question asked in December 2005 so uh, just now I explained in detail same thing uh, a top-down parsing can be viewed an attempt to find a leftmost derivation for input string it can be viewed as an attempt to construct a parse tree in pre-order just now i explained in previous question so option <coughs> uh, sorry c is the right answer leftmost derivation is the right answer okay next we will go for in an absolute loading scheme which loads loader function is accomplished by programmer this is also very important in jo uh, uh, john donoman it's uh, in that book has clearly given um, this question is, is in an absolute loading scheme which loader function is accomplished by programmer allocation linking reallocation both a and b so i will give in detail uh, the four loader functions are accomplished as follows in an absolute loading scheme allocation done by programmer linking done by programmer reallocation done by assembler loading by done by loader so what is the question now in an absolute loader scheme which loader function is accomplished by programmer here programmer allocation and linking allocation is option a linking is option b so option uh, in uh, examination don't select suddenly a because in uh, examination you are in the hurry don't select suddenly option a is the right answer because you need to read one second option d is the right answer because allocation and linking both are done by programmer so option d is the right answer now we'll go for question number 34 a symbol table can be used for 
checking type compatibility sorry compatibility and uh, suppressing duplication of error messages storage allocation and all of these definitely i have explained in detail in question number 31 december 2004 question number 35 uh, june 2005 just go through it okay option d is the right answer means of all of the above is the right answer now come to the question number 35 moving process from main memory to disk is called moving process from main memory to disk disk to main memory definitely it is called uh, what is uh, i think you can easily answer catching or termination swapping or interpretation definitely it is swapping okay i explained in detail in question number 36 june 2005 just go through it what is swapping to replace pages or segments of data in a memory swapping is a useful technique that enables a computer to execute programs and manipulate data files larger than main memory the operating system copies as much as data as possible into the main memory and leaves the rest of the rest on the disk when the operating system needs data from the disk it exchange a portion of data in a main memory with a portion of data on a disk this is called swapping this is this diagram shows what is swapping um, this is uh, main memory uh, this is uh, data uh, just it swaps uh, which whatever a part of the memory it swaps to the main memory to disk disk to main memory this is called swapping so option c is the right answer now we'll go for question number 36 part of the program where the shared memory is accessed and which should be executed individually is called semaphore directory critical section mutual exclusion so obviously you can answer easily this is semaphore because here semaphore is a variable whose values can be accessed and altered only by the wait and signal may process try to access the same critical section part of here question is part of the program here the shared memory is accessed and which should be executed individually uh, semaphore technique is used to use wait and signal techniques for either 0 or 1 uh, means 1 means what it's uh, ready to execute 0 means what block in a critical section uh, sometime it is uh, means it is used in a critical section so option e is the right answer okay question number 37 windows is a dash operating system is it non primitive or primitive multi user real time it's uh, looking it's very simple question but to answer this question is very difficult because windows is a primitive or non primitive or multi user or real time obviously you can answer easily it is multi user also it is a real time but sometime is it primitive or non primitive what is primitive primitive means what once it is start execution uh, up to complete that process it should execute completely single process that is primitive non primitive means what it works like a, a round robin manner so uh, for this one earlier version of windows up to 3.11 appears to provide a non primitive scheduling means what once it is start execution it will not uh, move to the next process i uh, without completing execution process that's why in fact the technique used to rather than primitive the responsible responsibility of releasing control is placed in the hands of the application programs and it is not managed by the operating system that is each application when executing and uh, therefore holding the processor is expected periodically to re uh, re crash Uh, control back to the windows scheduler that's why nowadays operating system it is primitive it's not for non primitive uh, but earlier version it is work on for um, non primitive manner so option according to b you multi user and primitive nowadays operating system uh, so option b and c but anyhow if you are uh, if you know better than this answer you can just uh, Uh, drop out your message in my youtube comment box i will update next um, video this is uh, according to my point of view this option b and c is the right answer okay if you know better you can just comment in youtube comment box or or else you just mail me uh, uh, for our mail id okay you know already i have displayed in uh, uh, first slide 
just go through and and uh, reply in a mail okay uh, next we will go for question number 38 nice command is used for decrease the priority of a process to increase the priority of a process to get the highest priority nothing to do with the priorities already it's then you know uh, in uh, uh, this nice command about uh, in unix uh, for increase or decreasing the priority of a job or process we will use a nice command actually means what he, it is used for both increase or decrease the priority of the process actually um uh, range we will use the range uh, 19 to 20 if you need to increase the priority then we need to decrease the priority number that's why it need you will use both increase and decrease okay so if you need to decrease the priority then we need to increase the priority number so this is command nice uh, hyphen n 10 this is command actually but uh, here option is to decrease the priority process to increase the priority of a process so uh, it needs both increase and decrease but there is no option so option a and b uh, both i have included uh, similarly i will repeating if you have if you know the better than uh, this answer just you mail me okay next we'll go for question number 39 which page replacement policy suffers from bloody unmoly means what is it lrv lfu means uh, this is uh, all our uh, operating system you know all already these techniques uh, are first in uh, means a fo means first in first out uh, optimal now we'll look at what is um, bloody unmoly in computer storage this uh, bloody anomaly is the name given to the phenomenon where increase the number of page frames results in uh, in an increase in the number of phase parts for a given memory access pattern this phenomenon is commonly experienced when using first in first out page replacement algorithms that's why is the actually he is so he is the name of the um mathematician uh belady uh, or you can pronounce anything demonstrated this in 1969 he has uh, uh, explained about this one in common computer memory management information is loaded in a specific sized chunks means what will uh, inform means data is loaded in a small number of chunks we will call it is a segment each chunks is referred to as a page the central processor can only hold a limited number of pages at a time it requires a frame for each page it can load a page fault occurs when a page is not found sorry a page fault occurs and a page is not found and might need to be loaded from the disk into the memory okay when a page fault occurs all all frames are in use one must be clear to make room for the new page a simple algorithm is first in first out whichever phase has been in the frames of the longest is the one that is cleared until bloody um, um bloody anomaly was demonstrated it was um, means delivered that an increase in the number of page frames would always result in the same number of uh, or few page parts this one explained in the in this means what what i'm trying to explain this one uh, yeah, according to brady and molly most of the time all the frames are in use in the primary memory but uh, next frame uh, need to execute for next frame there is no memory in the primary memory in this in this case we need to replace one frame for um, main memory to secondary memory and means what we need to swap that one but accessed frame while access whatever accessed frame it is not in the primary memory it is called page part usually this uh, this uh, um, page part will occur in uh, most of the time in first in first out technique this uh, means a uh, total suffers from bloody anomaly is first in first out technique 
this is one of the example but before uh, without knowing basic uh, uh, concept of these uh, these all techniques it's very difficult to understand this question please read basics before watching the videos then um, otherwise it's very difficult at least you struck here just stop and read these all uh, 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 means least first out you these all techniques optimal these all techniques read it first then watch this video again okay next we'll go for question number next question catch memory is high speed register low speed ram non volatile ram high speed ram you know what is catch memory and what is the use this is high speed ram uh, this one i have explained in detail like uh, this one pronounced like a uh, physical from us currency catch catch is a high speed access area that can be a reserved section for the main memory or storage device the two main types of catch are memory catch or disk catch memory catch is a portion of high speed static ram and is effective uh, effective because most programs accessed in the same data or instructions over and over by keeping as much as this information as possible in static ram the computer avoids the accessing the slower dynamic ram making the computer perfect faster and more ef efficiently today most computers come with the lc uh, sorry l3 catch and l2 catch while loader computer included only l1 catch means what catch is the small memory it is placed in between uh, um, means um, main memory to secondary memory this is used for ex uh, means recently used data it is stored it is very uh, if you want to reuse that uh, whatever recently used it is you can access easily because it is stored in a uh, in between secondary to primary memory that is cache memory this is high speed ram is the right answer i hope you have enjoyed all on uh, this lecture series please uh, like and share subscribe the channel and please inform your friends okay thank you for watching